Have you ever wondered how some ranchers manage to fatten their cattle in record time without sacrificing meat quality? Imagine multiplying your profitability, optimizing every gram of feed, and transforming your operation into a benchmark of productivity with methods backed by science and technology. First and foremost, it is essential to thoroughly understand the concept of nutrient partitioning, the delicate biochemical process that determines whether the energy derived from the ration is used primarily for vital maintenance functions, bone development, or the formation of intramuscular adipose tissue. In essence, when we talk about nutrient partitioning, we refer to a system of metabolic priorities that responds to both the diet's composition and the animal's physiological status. To positively influence that partitioning, we must play with two key variables, degradable protein and metabolizable energy. By carefully increasing the proportion of degradable protein, we ensure the rumen has the essential amino acids for microbial protein synthesis, while an adequate supply of metabolizable energy provided by readily fermentable carbohydrate sources fuels the anabolic processes that promote muscle growth. The goal is to maximize marbling, that fine infiltration of fat between muscle fibers that delivers exceptional juiciness and flavor without overdoing dorsal fat deposition, which negatively affects feed conversion and carcass yield. To optimize this balance, the first step is to measure conversion rate precisely, that is, the amount of dry matter ingested per kilogram of weight gain. This metric, sometimes called feed efficiency, is the thermometer that tells us whether our dietary adjustments are bearing fruit. For this purpose, we can employ indwelling pH meters, portable devices safely inserted into the rumen that provide continuous readings of pH and temperature. In this way, we immediately detect imbalances that could lead to subclinical acidosis, the silent condition that undermines ruminal health and slows growth, without waiting for external symptoms or disrupting animal welfare. Dietary fiber quality is expressed in terms of the Neutral Detergent Fiber Digestibility Index, which measures the percentage of fiber susceptible to degradation by ruminal microbiota. The volatile fatty acids, mainly acetate, propionate and beauty rate, resulting from that fiber fermentation, are the animal's primary energy source. Adjusting the ratio between load degradability forages like mature alfalfa hay and rapidly fermentable forages such as well-preserved corn silage allows us to dose the production rate of these fatty acids. This maximizes the energy available for tissue synthesis without exposing the rumen to sudden pH swings. Another pillar of the strategy is supplementation with limiting amino acids such as lysine and methionine, which are often scarce when working with conventional forages and grains. By supplying these amino acids via slow-release ruminal blocks coated with biodegradable polymers, we extend their availability throughout the critical hours of digestion. Thanks to this technique, we minimize the conversion of nitrogen into unutilized ammonia and channel nitrogen flow toward lean muscle synthesis rather than urinary and fecal excretion. For those looking to take innovation to the next level, editing the ruminal microbiota with specific probiotic strains is emerging as a revolution. Recent studies have shown that inoculation with combinations of lactobacillus, megaspira, and prevotella can improve feed conversion efficiency by up to 20 percent by optimizing fiber degradation and microbial protein synthesis. This approach, combined with prebiotics that serve as selective food for these bacteria, promotes a more resilient and productive ruminal environment. Of course, we must not underestimate genetics' role in this process. Selective breeding. Based on genomic sequencing data enables the identification of markers associated with greater muscle building capacity and intramuscular fat deposition. With customized single nucleotide polymorphism tests, we can choose breeders that pass on superior traits. Accelerated growth, innate resistance to common diseases, 
and efficient feed conversion to their offspring, thermal environment control is another critical factor. Every ounce of weight gain lost because the animal expends energy on thermal regulation represents a cost. To minimize this waste, fine mist misting systems and automated cross ventilation are installed to keep body temperature within the thermoneutral zone, incorporating temperature and relative humidity sensors connected to an IoT livestock platform lets you receive mobile alerts when parameters deviate, so you can act before heat stress affects dry matter intake. Hydration is essential not only to prevent dehydration in heat peaks, but also to ensure proper ruminal transit. Regulated flow drinkers and tanks supplemented with electrolytes, especially potassium, sodium, and chloride, prevent the sharp drops in dry matter intake that often occur on hot days. Likewise, guaranteeing continuous access to fresh water favors nutrient absorption and saliva production, which serves as the rumen's natural buffer. Data collection and cloud analytics are yet another area where science drives productivity. Big data platforms correlate satellite imagery, drone readings equipped with thermal and infrared sensors, and information generated by pH meters and environmental sensors. Machine learning algorithms estimate each animal's live weight and suggest automatic ration adjustments, reducing forage waste and fine-tuning the mix of grains, forages, and additives according to the herd's real needs. Photoperimeters represent another non-invasive measurement tool. Through three-dimensional analyses obtained by stereoscopic cameras, muscle development is calculated without scales, avoiding stress and weighing errors. This allows the herd to be segmented into groups with specific requirements, allocating encapsulated amino acid supplements or plant extracts with anabolic phytochemicals exactly where they are needed. When implementing an intensive fattening program, the pens must be ergonomically designed with non-slip surfaces and minimal slopes to facilitate drainage. Adjustable height automatic feeders ensure every animal has comfortable access to feed and high capacity drinkers guarantee a constant water supply. This model contrasts with the traditional extensive system, which is subject to climate, variability and pasture quality. The hybrid strategy seeks to combine the best of both worlds. The freedom of movement and behavioral enrichment of free-range grazing with the controlled feeding and continuous monitoring of a smart feedlot. In this way, you maintain animal welfare and ruminal health while optimizing every gram of feed for profitable growth. By integrating these techniques into your management plan, you'll move from relying on empirical methods and seasonal variants to a system grounded in science, data, and cutting-edge technology. In this way, every kilo of forage you offer your animals will work more efficiently, multiplying your profits, improving meat quality, and positioning you as a leader in modern livestock production. Not long ago, I met Don Arturo, a rancher from the Highlands who had used the same free-range grazing and sporadic supplementation method for decades. His herd showed irregular growth rates barely perceptible marbling and rising feed costs, but everything changed the day. He agreed to try a precision nutrition system. Don Arturo installed motion sensors in each pen and an IoT setup that recorded consumption, temperature, and estimated weight data. He began receiving alerts if any animal reduced intake for more than 12 hours. With that information, he tailored each group's diet combining fibrous forages with ground grains and an enzymatic additive that improved cellulose digestion. Within a few weeks, the conversion rate went from two kilos of forage per half kilo gained to just 1.4 kilos per half kilo gained. The marbling in his Angus beef reached an optimal level and premium market grading boosted the price per kilo by over 30% but the most surprising outcome was the bond he formed with his animals. By monitoring their well-being, Don Arturo detected heat stress, even on mild days, and adjusted ventilation accordingly. 
he observed changes in herd temperament, lameness incidence decreased, and thanks to a specific probiotic supplement, diarrhea cases during the rainy season dropped. Today, his operation is a model of innovation. In addition to doubling his profitability, he leads research projects with local universities, sharing performance and genetic resilience data. If you want to transform your operation, optimize every step of the fattening process, and take your cattle to the next level, subscribe now to the channel and share in the comments which of these methods you find most revolutionary so we can dive deeper into your specific case. Don't miss the opportunity to make science your best ally.